floors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today, we'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Third down to give, Montella cuts back up the middle, and he's over a oh. thousand yards, and he's off to the races. Up in the air, blocked down! Dumping in wide open net. Too easy right there. Holly Chapman, she'll take off in the wing. That one's good. Webb trying to get the pin. Here we go. And it goes! Good pin and that would win it for Warren Hill. Great senior night ceremony here at Lindby Valley High School. A 63 save performance by Casey Connor, the Crimson. And he break his record. Penty oh, 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 Edwards oh, 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 wins it. First game of your conference schedule. So good, and we're all so pumped and just happy to look at Head up the head tonight on Morris Sussex. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Powerville Tennis Courts here in Mountain Lakes, New Jersey, where we have a pair of NJAC Liberty mat opponents about to match up here today. It's the Parsippany Red Hawks and the Mountain Lakes Lakers. Hello, everyone, and welcome inside the broadcast booth. Great to have you with us. I am Christian Copen. Today, our game time temperature is 75 degrees, and that is brought to you by ICS, keeping you cool when it's hot and warm when it's cold. Go to ICS HVAC for all of your comfort needs. We're about to get started in just a few minutes or so, but taking a look at some of the matchups today on center court, we're going to have Sakthival Rajendran versus Jonathan Barnett on second singles, which is going to be on the third on the third side. I'm trying to get like the camera <laughs> the camera perspective here. It's going to be Yu Groshavadia and Deegan O'Shaughnessy. And then on third singles, Parsippany is Max Booker, and for Mountain Lakes is Yash Samat. About to get started in just a couple minutes here, but and all of our serves today are brought to you by Open Road Mazda of Morristown. First time car buyers, listen up. Open Road Mazda of Morristown has your back. Discover affordable, dependable vehicles for less than fifteen thousand, backed by our rock solid five day money back guarantee. Drive with confidence. Drive with Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Check the link below for more details. And if you like this broadcast, please subscribe or hope us that by you liking our telecast of New Jersey's Scholastic Sports. They'll help us out by clicking that subscription button on our YouTube channel and the notification bell. We broadcast 30 to 40 high school games a week, and we're the only television subscription that you'll have for free. We only ask that you help us out by clicking that subscription button. And for our sponsors today, it is the Lakers Sports Club. Founded in 1965, the Lakers Sports Club helps provide financial support and services to the athletic programs and recognizes the achievements of individual and team efforts. In addition to providing scholarships for student athletes, the student and student scholar athletes, the Lakers Sports Club also strives to address the needs of various athletic programs at our high school to the extent of the financial ability. In addition to recognizing the individual achievements, the Lakers Sports Club also provides funding to all sports programs so that they may take advantage of the new technology and research sports training and fitness. Visit mlschools.org today. A little bit of a sun shower right now. The unprecedented forecast weather here today. It's been sunny all day for the most part. Taking a look at both teams going into this matchup, Parsippany comes in 2-0 at the top of the NJAC Liberty Division. They've gotten off to a strong start this season and overall really bouncing back so far off of a struggling year last year. And for Mountain Lakes, they've been pretty good throughout the past decade and then beyond. For Mountain Lakes, they winning the Group 1 final three times in the past 10 years and making it five times in total. So if you're wondering if Mountain Lakes is bad at any sports, uh, the answer is no. <laughs> the Mountain Lakes team and the entire Mountain Lakes program has always been unbelievable and really just unbelievable in every sport that they go into. Taking a look at some of the records going into this one. It is pouring now all of a sudden. I'm not sure where this came from. But as I go under the, underneath the umbrella, you gotta weather the conditions from time to time. Happens during every broadcast. So Sathiva Ravindran moves up from second singles to first singles. He's 2-0 this season. And really just trying to look to bounce back in his career in first singles. He's done a pretty 
pretty good job as of late. And he's going to get the bump up in the lineup after Ronak Patel is scratched. Second singles for Parsifany is Yug Rojavadia. He's 1-1 one one this season and 2-0 and oh his career in doubles as well. You got his first career win in singles versus Par Hills in straight sets in his last match. And now it looks like the players are going to be clearing the court as of right now. And we'll have a little bit of a weather delay as there's a passing shower in the area. So with the shower passing through, we're going to cut to commercial break real quick and let the players settle this out. We'll be right back here on the Big State Sports Network. Pipework Services, providing quality plumbing, heating, cooling, electrical services, and insulation for 20 plus years. Our unwavering commitment to excellent service has earned us the trust of North and Central New Jersey communities. Call us today at 973-298-1961 to experience our dependable and caring expertise. that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. For years, it had been the same routine working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999.
blue nail contractors for almost everything in the firehouse and blue nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling getting the job done we are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us go ahead take a deep breath oh nice huh that's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. And we're back here at the Powerville Tennis Courts here in Mountain Lakes, New Jersey. Out of our little weather delay, and now I'm going to resume where I left off and talking about the starting lineups for each side. So first things first, in first singles today for Parsippany, it's going to be Sakthival Rosendron. He's 2-0 on the season. He's going to be bumping up to first singles after Ronak Patel was scratched. And for Mountain Lakes, it's Jonathan Barrett, 1-0 this season. And both guys, key reasons why their respective teams are doing as well as they are. Going on to second singles now. Everyone's going to be bumped up just one spot for Parsippany. Yug Rojavadia is in second singles, and he's going to be squaring off against Deegan O'Shaughnessy. Yug is 1-1 one one on the season, and Deegan is 1-0. And, oh. and now in third singles, Max Booker gets the call up, and he'll be playing against Yash Samat for Mountain Lakes. Yash 0-1 oh on the year, and Max Booker has yet to play. Going to be a good one here. Mountain Lakes is historically had their way in this matchup, but you never know. It's another year, and both teams are really good so far. Haven't lost a game, haven't lost a match yet. And really, overall, things have gone well for both sides. Parsippany at the top of the NJAC Liberty Division, and Mountain Lakes pretty close up there as well. Both players are finishing their warm-ups once again. And for both teams, too, it's going to be interesting, obviously, with the rain delay. That throws off a lot of people. But also, both these teams have had a six-day layoff. They both haven't played since April 9th in between matches, and that can really affect a lot of guys. So obviously there's practices in there too, but nothing right like a game experience. So it's going to be interesting to see, especially with the call-offs for Parsippany as well, and how things will go. So on the courts right now, on the first singles is going to be on center court. Second singles is going to be on the far right. And third singles is going to be on the far left. As both players are just finishing their warm-ups now. And about to get started here today. So three minutes left until these players will be underway. What's interesting, this would have been the second matchup between Patel and Barnett. That is no longer happening, though. And Barnett got the better from last year, beating him in straight sets, 6-4, six, 6-2. Six, Once again, if you're unfamiliar about how high school tennis works, pretty much the same thing as normal tennis, best of three. Six sets equals a set win. And once again, thank you to the sponsors that make these broadcasts possible here on the Big State Sports Network. And we, once again, we'd like to thank the Lakers Sports Club. Founded in 1965, the Lakers Sports Club helps provide financial support and services to the athletic programs and recognizes the achievements of individual and team efforts. In addition to providing scholarships for student athletes and student scholar athletes, the Lakers Sports Club also strives to address the needs of various athletic programs at our high school. To the extent 
of its financial ability. In addition to recognizing individual team achievements, the Lakers Sports Club, LSC, also provides funding to all sports programs so that they may take advantage of new technology and research in the sports training and fitness. Visit mlschools.org today. Both players now getting them getting their serves practice in. The wind could be a factor today. The wind has now started to pick up, and a, a couple of serves are starting to go a little bit to the left. Once again, our game time temperature today is 75 degrees, and it, well, it was sunny. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it was sunny for the whole day. But once again, our game time temperature brought to you by ICS, keeping you cool when it's hot and warm when it's cold. Go to ICSHVAC.com for all of your comfort needs. And all of the serves today are brought to you by Open Road Mazda of Morristown. First time car buyers, listen up. Open Road Mazda of Morristown has your back. Discover affordable, dependable vehicles for less than 15000 backed by a rock-solid five-day money-back guarantee. Drive with confidence. Drive with Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Check out the link below for more details. Both players, or all players, about to get started in singles. The doubles will be behind us. And this is going to be a little bit like the score zone, if you remember that from the Friday nights in the playoffs, where we're going to be going back and forth between courts. Now the focus will be on center court for Zakhvivo Rajendran and Jonathan Barrett. You'll see that they also have that little set scoreboard on the right net. And this is going to be a good one today, folks. Both these teams are really good tennis programs. Parsippany, 2-0 to start the season. As I said before, Mountain Lakes 1-0. Mountain Lakes, if you didn't hear before, the rain delay is went to the Group 1 final three times in the past 10 years and making it five times as well. So this is a really loaded program for Mountain Lakes that's been good for a very long time, over the past decade and a half or so. We're about to get going on center court. And off we go. And a good start for Jonathan Barrett as he goes up 15 love. It's going to be important for Barnett to get off to a good start serving. He's been really dominant in his singles career. Hits the net on the first one and faults. Just gets it over the net as it just goes out on the left side. So 30 love quickly for Jonathan Barnett. Barnett want to know this season nine and six in his second singles career and three and one in his third singles so gradually working his way up and that one goes down Barnett off to a really good start That goes out of bounds, and Barnett wins the first set. 
Take you over to second singles now on the far right court. And that one's going to be you, Roger Vadia, and Deegan O'Shaughnessy. And a good start for Deegan so far. Deegan 1 0 this season, 12 2 in his career in first doubles, and 4 0 in second doubles as well. He's been really, really good throughout his doubles career and now getting the chance to play second singles this year behind Jonathan Barnett. Move over to the third singles court now where we have Max Booker and Yash Samat. Samat getting ready to serve. He faults on his first serve. That one goes out. Back to center court we go. As Jonathan Barnett takes a 1-0 lead so far over Sakthiva Rajendran. Rajendran getting ready to serve. Barnett can't finish it off. Barnett can't finish that one off in perfect position there, but just got the top of his racket. He goes out of bounds. Stick on center court for now. And that one, Barnett calls out, did in fact hit that little Left side rectangle. And Barnett off to a really good start so far today. And Barnett finishes it off. Excellent job. Got a couple of nice slices in there and then able to finish him off with the with the slam. Barnett put a little too much on that. Let's take you back over to second singles with Roger Vadia and Deegan O'Shaughnessy. O'Shaughnessy has that come off the racket a little weird. Trying to go for that forehand. One thing about O'Shaughnessy is a really good forehand. Saw that a couple of times so far in the early sets. Once he gets back to serving again, if he can really get off to a good start in the serving department, he could be in great position to win the match. Interesting move there by O'Shaughnessy, just running straight up towards the net. Maybe necessarily predicting the, maybe a soft shot, a little shot, a soft forehand shot. Take you back to center court now. 
Barnett is back serving again. Really good rally so far. That's going to go out. Barnett overpowering with the backhand slam shots. That would have been an incredible shot by Barnett if he was able to keep that one in, but that hits the net. One nothing in the first set for Barnett so far. Faults on the first serve. Couldn't quite get that little soft touch to finish it off. Interesting note about Barnett is that he really, when he serves the ball, it's really straight up over his head. And with the wind coming in his direction too, it could have an impact on his serves as the match moves forward. But so far, off to a really good start. And a nice job right there, bouncing back as 40-40. And a nice serve by Barnett, able to finish it off. Oh, just out. That looks clean. Just hitting the white line. Perfect positioning and Barnett able to slam it home. Barnett down in the set to begin things off, but able to come back. Faults on the first serve. You'll see on the second serves that they'll take a little something off it if they fault on the first one. Just trying to get it over the net. Don't want to give them an easy free point. And Barnett able, unable to finish it off. Nice job. Keeping things close with Saktiva Rajendran. Really nice serve by Barnett. He's got great velocity on that serve. Really overpowers opponents. On second singles over here, it is a two to one set lead. As the second set over here on center court remains 1-0 in favor of Barnett. Barnett able to save it up in the air. And Rajendran can't finish it off. Barnett takes that. So a two to one set lead for Barnett right now. Over on third singles, it is a two to one set lead for Yash Samat looking for his first career win. 
or a second career win rather in singles. Volley so far, but that goes off the end of the racket. Back over to center court now. That's two to one in favor of Jonathan Barnett in the first set. First set, first serve, fault. Faults on the first serve. Barnett will let it go out. Barnett's caused a couple of those little pop-up shots from Rajadron. And really has done a nice job taking advantage of that. that inside part of the, bra the racket for Rajendran and advantage goes to Barnett. Goes just out. Back over here on center court, and a nice job once again by Barnett.
Back over here on center court once again. Really nice serve that time by Deegan O'Shaughnessy. Just able to keep this one in. Shaughnessy able to finish the job. Over here on first singles. So far, Barnett's look good. Up three to one so far, four to one in the first set. Back over here on second singles. Nice job by O'Shaughnessy. He's done a really good job controlling this first set. Back over here on first singles with Jonathan Barnett and Sativa Rajendran. Barnett up four to one in this first set. Mixed up the courts at first, but I got it now. <laughs> My apologies for any confusion before. But luckily I took note early in the first set. But similar to O'Shaughnessy, Barnett's looked really good. Barnett can't finish it off. Had an opening on the right side. Couldn't quite get the forearm to go. But four to one in the first set for Barnett, similar to O'Shaughnessy as well. Four to one in his first set. too much on that, but Barnett tried his best to keep it alive. He's been running up towards the net a lot. And overall, doing a nice job so far. Couldn't quite get that one to go. Nice shot that time. A beautiful forearm by Barnett. And so far he's had his way in the first set. Let's go over to third singles now, over on the far court. This one very close. Three to two set lead so far for Max Booker, and that one, I believe, goes out. A 
Very close set. Remember, you got to win by two. Yash Sinet getting ready to serve. A really powerful serve. And even Max Booker had to give a round of applause for that. That was a very just impeccable placement. And those are the kinds of difference maker serves that can really stand out in a set. And back to back, really nice serves from Yash Samat. That one goes out. Similar to pretty much all of these Mountain Lakes players, they have really good velocities on their serves. And another great forearm shot by Yash. Go back to second singles here. O'Shaughnessy serving. Just goes out. That one just goes out. And a little too strong on the forehand from Huge. That one just goes out. A couple of key misses on the first serve from O'Shaughnessy so far, but he's able to bounce back on a second. of spin on it and just goes out back over to first singles now serving is Jonathan Barnett That one just out, but an excellent job by Barnett. Barnett, a little too much top spin on that one, hits the top of the net. Just down the surf of Barnett. Set a couple of faults here in this set. Yeah, just a little bit too short on that top hand from Rajendran. over to third singles here. And a really nice put away forearm that time 
from Yash. Took an advantage of 4-3 lead in the set. Max Booker getting ready to serve. Too strong. So a four to three set advantage for Yash Samat. A six to one set win for Deegan O'Shaughnessy. So he'll move on to the second set. Again, really dominant. We saw a lot of it to begin our broadcast, but he was really in command with a lot of his serves and really using a nice slam shot to finish things home. He's had a couple opportunities on those pop-up shots. Hits the net here. That one just goes out. Yuga struggled a little bit on some of those faster shots from Deegan O'Shaughnessy. He's popped up a couple of them and allowed O'Shaughnessy to slam it home. This is O'Shaughnessy's first season playing singles at the varsity level so far. Aaron has really done a nice job here today so far. Taking the first set 6-1. Back over on first singles now. As Rajendran getting ready to serve. Nice forearm finish that time by Jonathan Barnett. He's done an unbelievable job on some of those forehand shots that are just impossible to get to if you're the opponent. And unfortunately for Rajendran, he's been a victim of a couple of those today. It takes such skill and athleticism just to get it over the net at a high speed and that low just to be able to sail it over along with that high spin rate as well. Just makes it so tough on opponents. Really nice rally, just missing that one. Rajan drop, but he's he, again in that set too. A couple of nice forehands, able to just sneak it over the net. What a nasty forehand that was! Barely got it over, just enough velocity and placed it perfectly inside that square. Back over here on first singles again. unable to finish it with the forehand is Rajendran. What's interesting about Barnett too is that he's not limited to just that forehand shot. He's got a great backhand shot. He's able to go to it at any moment. And it's really been effective for him today. But again, that forehand shot has been the story for him so far. And once again, we'd like to take a minute to thank all the sponsors that make these broadcasts possible here on the Big State Sports Network. And all of our serves today are brought to you by Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is here to elevate your car buying experience. For over 15 years, we've been serving the Morris and Sussex communities, offering top-notch, affordable new and used cars. Trust the experts at Open Road Mazda of Morristown, where your confidence meets the road. Visit the link below for more details. And thank you to the Lakers Sports Club. Over the last 15 years, the Lakers Sports Club has donated over $1.5 million to athletic programs, which directly benefits the student athletes of Mountain Lakes High School. Without the generosity of our members, families, and community supporters, the Athletic Sports Club could not fulfill our mission. 
The club strives for 100% participation from the student athlete families and welcomes anyone who wishes to be a part and continued success for our boys and girls athletic teams. Visit mlschools.org today. O'Shaughnessy able to take the first set on center court. Set over to third singles now. Gosh, getting ready to serve. Hits the top of the net on this first. A 6-2 set win for Jonathan Barnett in his first set as well. And we're still in the first set over here on third singles. Both players, Max Booker and Yash Samet, have really done a nice job keeping things really even so far. Some nice timely shots. Good forehands, able to get it over the net. Yash has a great serve, and that's been working for him so far. That one hits directly off the top of the net. I've never seen something like that before. Back over here on center court for second singles. O'Shaughnessy's had a really nice serve going for him too. That's been a key theme for the Lakers today. They've done a really nice job taking advantage of the first serve. Had a couple of faults on them, but when they get it across, it comes over with some high velocity and spin that makes it just impossible to try to get it over the net. We've also seen our fair share of those today, a couple of faults. Back here on first singles. Another impossible forehand shot that time. Just impeccable work by Jonathan Barnett once again. Just makes him so dynamic. There's a reason why he's here at first singles. It's because of shots like that. Singles once again. Nice job by O'Shaughnessy. Finishes that one off with the forehand. Got a really nice forehand to the right side, just getting it in inside the line, and then able to finish it off right up the middle. As Roger Vadia. Goes on, goes on the other side of the court. Excellent placement, placement by O'Shaughnessy. First singles once again. Really nice shot that time, just getting it out of the outstretch reach of. Barnett. As Rajendran has really come into his own so far here in the second set. Just getting it over the net. That was impressive. And a little too strong from Barnett. What a shot that was by Rajendran. Just barely getting it over the white of the net.
Tough one to get to if you're Booker. And that goes out. He's lucky that went out too. They would have been in trouble if he was had to try to play that ball going backwards and just try to hit it up over his head. Booker will, ser will serve on that side. It's the net. So that one goes out. If you like this broadcast, please subscribe. Our hope is that by you liking our telecast of New Jersey Scholastic Sports, you'll help us out by clicking that subscription button on our YouTube channel and the notification bell. We broadcast 30 to 40 NJ high school games a week, and we're the only television subscription that you'll have for free. We only ask that you help us out by clicking that subscription button down below. Back over here on first singles once again. A little too strong that time on the forehand by Barnett. That's a tough play to get to. And too strong. Wow, what a job by O'Shaughnessy. A couple of slam opportunities, and somehow O'Shaughnessy was able to save it, pop it back up in the air, and eventually Roja Vidia hit that inside part of the racket. It went a little too far. Oh, a beautiful backhand slice. And that goes out. Back over here on first singles now. 1-0 set lead so far for Rajendran. That's a tough play to get to, couldn't make it. And you know, I think that some of these players aren't updating their boards, so Half of what I'm saying in the scores are true <laughs> because I think they're just doing it whenever they need a break. But as I'm looking at the scores right now, going back and forth between all three of these matches so far. Going off of what the score says and what we're watching live. Hits the top of the net. Raj and John. Back over on three. A nice job placing that one by Ash Samat. Just barely touching it, getting it over the net. And Booker was all the way on the back side of the court. And he couldn't catch up to it. Back over on one. Out. A little too strong that time. Back over to Duke. O'Shaughnessy finishes it off. Excellent job. Placed it on the right side. Came back right to him in the middle and able to spike it on the left side. Back to one. to three. Yash getting ready to serve. A little too far. Yash has had a couple of over pursuements. As on that side, it looks like Max Booker has taken the first set. 
six to four. And they're on to their second set, so every match is on to their second set so far. Serve too wide. Back over to two. Little too strong with a jumping backhand shot. Trying to place it on that far right corner, couldn't get it to go. Little too low, try to just a little touch. Hits the net. Really utilize the backhand during that one. Back over to three. Back over to two. A little too far. Nice job by O'Shaughnessy again. Really been in control so far again in the second set. Trying to take best two out of three. Hey, and O'Shaughnessy knew it right away. Just froze. Wasn't expecting him to go far out, did. Back over to one. Just a little bit too low. He's Raj and Drons had a lunge on a couple of those, unable to get to a few of them. Really just impeccable placement once again by Jonathan Barnett. He's really had that indecipherable spin on that forehand shots that made him so devastating here today. Another nasty forehand. Just tremendous. Back over to two now. As over on the first singles, a Two to one set advantage for Barnett. And just a little too much on that spike by O'Shaughnessy. Over to three. One nothing advantage for Samet. Now 
now let's go back over to first singles. Ajahn John serves. Really nice rally so far. And a little too strong from Barnett. Keeping things close in the second set is Rajendran. Over to three. First serve from Booker hits the net. Slice. Oh, what a shot. Absolute beauty from Max Booker. What a rally that was. Back and forth. And Booker on almost an impossible shot. Able to put that one away. Back over to one. It's the now the first. Two to one advantage in the second set for Mountain Lakes on both courts. One and two for Jonathan Barnett and Deegan O'Shaughnessy. Another great placement that time. From Jonathan Barnett. win there for Rajendran. He showed a couple of really great flashes of his forehand. Over to two. O'Shaughnessy serving. Nice job able to put him away. Soft contact off the serve and able to spike it right away. Just too far. That would have been an yeah, absolutely incredible shot of Shaughnessy if he was able to keep that one in. Let's go back over to one. And Barnett has such a powerful forearm shot that occasionally just goes a little bit too haywire. But if he's able to tame it, it's a nasty weapon that he has in his arsenal. Back over to two. As O'Shaughnessy still has the set advantage. Two to one set lead for Max Booker over on court three. He's done a really nice job so far getting the call up. from O'Shaughnessy is out. O'Shaughnessy can't finish it off. Back over to court one now. 
know what this feels like? This feels like I'm the NFL Red Zone guy. <laughs> that's what I feel like right now. I forget his name. I, I know there's two of them. But that's what this feels like right now. Sir from Rajendran. Tough backhand shot. Almost an impossible shot once again. And a great placement by Jonathan Barnett. Than it. A little too far. Over to court two. A little too far on that shot from you. Back over to court number three. Booker. That second shot didn't sound like it hit his racket. That sounded like more of hand. But nonetheless, able to get it, that one over, but a little bit too far on that second one. Booker hits the net. Too far that time from Yash. Back over to court number two. And excellent placement that time from Roja Vidia. O'Shaughnessy came in and he was able to just paint it on that back part of the court. Goes a little too far that time from you. Back over to court number one. Barnett has the serve. Barnett, again, if he's able to place that powerful serve, he's a deadly weapon. Hits the line. Again, just another powerful shot that time from Barnett. Overpowers Roger Vidia. Back over to court number three. That was in. Wow, Booker, what a shot. He's really impressed so far in a singles debut. Back over to court number one. Couldn't get the forehand to go that time for Rajendran. 
Marnett's really looked good so far. And so far, a three to two advantage for Jonathan Barnett in the second set. Back over to court number two. Larsiphony has the edge with Max Booker right now over on court number three. And Alex has the edge on courts number two and one with Jonathan Barnett and Deegan O'Shaughnessy. Back over to court number three. Back over to court number one. What's also interesting about high school tennis is that there are no referees, or no officials. This is all athlete officiated games and monitored by the coaches on the side. Barnett's really done his job today so far. Forehand has been impeccable. Backhands have looked tremendous. Everything in his arsenal is going right now. Hits the top of the net but goes over. Nicely done by Barnett. Back over to court number two. That's another thing I wish I had out here. I wish I had a radar gun out here so I could track some of these serves. I do have one at home. I'm gonna remember that for next time. The miles are the miles per hour on these serves. Especially with some of the guys that Mount Lakes has. They've had some great velocities coming in there. Back over on court number three. Booker getting ready to serve. Too short that time from Booker. He's had a run all over the court today and he's made some incredible shots. Back over to court number one. Barnett faults twice. Three to two set advantage for Jonathan Barnett. Really nice fundamental serve for Jonathan Barnett as well. That one went a little bit too far. Back over to court number two. And O'Shaughnessy unable to finish that one off. Rojavadiva can get back. 
four. So two four. On that second court with O'Shaughnessy and Rojavidia. Back over to court number three. Off the top of the net, can't get it to go over. Once again, thank you to all the sponsors that make these broadcasts possible here on the Big State Sports Network. We really appreciate the support for everything that they do. Again, our game time temperature today, 75 and now sunny. Thank goodness. <laughs> Brought to you by ICS, keeping you cool when it's hot and warm when it's cold. Go to ICSHVAC.com for all of your comfort needs. Once again, all the serves brought to you by Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Open Road Mazda Morristown is your trusted source for new and exciting rides. Whether you're into the small and sporty like the legendary Miata or need a full-size family mover like the powerful CX-90, Mazda offers a wide range of vehicles to match your styles and needs. For first-time car buyers, explore our affordable used cars and hit the road in a Mazda that suits your everyday adventure. Visit the link below for more details. Again, if you like this broadcast, please subscribe. Our hope is that by you liking our telecast of New Jersey Scholastic Sports, you'll help us out by clicking that subscription button to our YouTube channel and the notification bell. We'll broadcast 30 to 40 NJ High School games a week and we're the only television subscription that you'll have for free. I well, ask that you help us out by clicking that subscription button. Into the booster clubs. What if I told you that one of these teams you're watching right now race thousands a year by having big state sports broadcast their games? Well, many teams partner with us not only to televise their teams so that fans can watch from all over the world with our professional commentary and top tier production, And again, thank you to the Mountain Lakes Sports Club. The Lakers Sports Club, founded in 1965, the Lakers Sports Club helps provide financial support and services to the athletic programs and recognizes the achievements of individual and team efforts. In addition to providing, pr providing scholarships for student athletes and student scholar athletes, the Lakers Sports Club also strives to address the needs of various athletic programs at our high school to the extent of its financial ability. In addition to recognizing individual and team achievements, the Lakers Sports Club, LSC, also provides funding for all sports programs so that they may take advantage of the new technology and research in our sports training and fitness. Visit mlschools.org today. Score update from court number three. Two to five. Set advantage for O'Shaughnessy. Over on court one, the exact same score, two to five. Just needing one more set to win for O'Shaughnessy and Barnett. Three to two in favor of Booker over on court number three, which is where we'll go right now. And that one goes a little bit too far. Back over to court number one. Once again, stay tuned after the game for our Blue Nail Exteriors player of the game on our Big State Sports social media. First serve goes wild on court number two into court number one. goes a little bit too far on the serve from Rajendran. That one goes a little bit too far. Oh, back over on court number two. O'Shaughnessy getting ready to serve. A little bit too far. Too low from you. And that goes out. hits 
the net. A little bit too low for Rojavidia. Back over on court number one. It's the net. A lot of these players could be experiencing fatigue now. I know I would. <laughs> Barnett just needing one more point to win. Nice rally so far. Another beautiful forehand finish for Jonathan Barnett. As over on court number two, we have a final. And O'Shaughnessy takes it 6 1, 6 2. Back over on court number one. Barnett able to spike it, and that will do it. So Barnett and O'Shaughnessy pick up the win in singles for Mountain Lakes, and now over to court number three, our last matchup left. And overall, really nice performances from Jonathan Barnett and Deacon O'Shaughnessy. Really got out the gates firing, executing their serves. And really, I mean, dominant performances with Barnett that nasty forehands. Now over to court number three for the remainder of the broadcast. Max Booker took the first set six to four. And right now, Yash has a four. You know, Max Booker has a four to three lead in the second set. Got to win by two. That was a tough shot for Max. That goes up against the net after a couple of nice forehand shots by Yash the net. Taking a look at what Mountain Lakes has next. They're gonna have Whippany Park right back here at the Powerville Tennis Courts. And for Parsippany coming up, it's booting at home tomorrow. Max Booker getting ready to take the serve here. Hits the net on the first. And that was an excellent placement that time by Yash. Max Booker came in and couldn't retreat back in time. Booker getting ready to serve. And Yash hits the net.
volley so far. Oh, what a job by Yash Smet there. Able to place it just in the back half of the court. Booker ran up again and able to place it perfectly on that back half. Fifteen forty advantage Booker. Booker can't finish it off. That was a really good job by Yash there. Fell behind a little bit. Looked like he could have gotten the advantage and the point to Booker there, but Yash able to stay with it, able to finish it off. Important for him to come back and take this set. He wants to force a third one. And an excellent serve by Yash. This Booker had no chance at that one. That's a tough shot to hit. That goes out. Volley so far. Uh, try, Max. Nice Booker couldn't finish, but man, what a volley that was. Back and forth. And Yash able to finish off those long ones. And it's starting to really come back here in the second set. Take on the first serve from Yash. Booker in desperation there. Tough shot to finish off. Booker's got a really nice racket too. He's got the orange outline with the black handle tape, a little gray in there too as well. It's a very nice racket. This is the last match in either doubles, both doubles and singles. Doubles just got done a couple of minutes ago. Back to back faults from Yash. He's had a couple of those today. Hasn't gotten served down on a couple of occasions, but he does have a powerful one if he could place it in the perfect location. the net from Yash, unable to get it back over. Mm -hmm. 
Once again on the serve. Really not been able to get this down here in the second set. Slice backhand and goes too far. As they'll take a quick breather. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back here on the Big State Sports Network. We're going to reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five day money back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda Morristown. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. At Planet Networks, our high speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Hi. Back here on the Big State Sports Network. As Yash Samat takes a 5-4 to four lead in the second set. He's able to win this next point outright, then he will force a third set. A very pivotal and important set here. And this is going to be important overall just for Parsippany, too. Obviously, we don't know what happened in doubles but this could mean a lot moving forward. Once again, stay tuned after the match to our Blue Nail Exteriors player of the game that will be put up on Instagram. Pivotal point in the match coming up here. And so that hits the net, 15 love. Max Booker. Josh hits the net. Or Booker hits the net, rather. 15 love advantage for Booker. And a little too far, 15 all.
First serve hits the net. Not can't hit the net. Or can't get it over the net, rather. It is 30-15 for Max Booker. Not a quick little pop-up rain shower in here that delayed things. It's been beautiful ever since. And that goes out. 40, 15 advantage for Booker. First serve fault. Too much power. And it is now five all. Is Max Booker able to win the point. But remember, you have to win by two. So Booker will either have to win seven five or Samat, same thing, seven five. love in favor of Yash. A little too low. 15-15. Excellent serve by Yash, and it's 30 to 15. Yash still looking for career win number one. Has had a really nice back and forth matchup today with Max Booker. Another good rally so far. And a really nice little soft finish that time from Yash Samat. Again, 40-15 advantage. out. Second. That's a really tough shot from Yash. Unable to Make it happen 40 30. Mark Zippity boy, what are we doing? Over here, let's go. If you're just tuning in, currently tied at five in the second set. 40-30 advantage for Yash Samat.
that is a tough shot from Max Booker. Able to just get it over the net, and we're all tied at 40. In one of the most intriguing matchups all day. Max Booker getting the call up for today's contest. A very close matchup with Yash so far. And advantage for Booker after back to back faults from Yash. Booker hits the net. An excellent serve, and we're back to Deuce. Out on the first shot. That goes too far, and the advantage now turns over to Yash. So advantage over to Yash now, his serve. Goes out, and Yash able to take that one. He now leads this six to five. So Max will now serve things up. Yash only needs one more point to win the set. Important first serve here for Max Booker. Trying to get back to that tiebreaker point. Booker hits the net. Oh, excellent job by Yash. Changes directions on it. And he takes a 15-love lead. Booker hits the net. That call is just out. So after a conversation, give Booker the point for 15-15. It's 
the net. 30-15 advantage for Booker. the net. Believe a 40-15 set lead for Booker. Nice. Yash able to keep that one in. Excellent job there. 40-30. Really good volley so far. All forehand shots so far. Excellent one. Still in play and out. Excellent job by Simon again. Tied up at 40 40. Deuce. The dreaded deuce awaits. Advantage to Yash. Just needs this one more point to seal the deal for Mountain Lakes. Booker hits the net. Shot, an excellent placement by Booker. We're back to Deuce. Advantage Booker. This is to tie things up at six. It's the net. Back to Deuce. Deuce. 
hits the net. Advantage goes back to Yash. He takes this point. He can seal the deal for Mountain Lakes. Is that the ice cream truck? I think that's the ice cream truck. <laughs> I might have to go get some ice cream after this. Man. <laughs> Sir from Booker. And that goes out, and Yash wins it for Mountain Lakes. And now I want to go get some ice cream. Thank you, everyone, for watching today's broadcast of tennis here on the Big State Sports Network. We really appreciate all of the support that we get. Mountain Lakes takes the singles matchups. They clean sweep it. Yash gets his first career matchup win. And Mountain Lakes dominates in the singles. Thank you all for watching. For our stream producer, Joey Lancelotti. For our camera operator, Grace Scanlon. I am Christian Copen. And once again, thank you all for tuning in to our presentation here on Big State Sports of high school tennis. Mountain Lakes able to take things home in the singles today and really just a dominant performance all the way around. Looking forward to ahead once again. Mountain Lakes next at Whippany Park back here at the Powerville Tennis Courts and next up for Parsippany is Booten at home tomorrow. Good luck to both of these teams going forward. Definitely a lot of good takeaways for Parsippany as well. But Mountain Lakes able to take the singles matchups. Once again, thank you to everyone on this amazing crew. Joey Lancelotti, our stream producer, camera operator Grace Gimlin. I am Christian Copen signing off from the Powerville Tennis Courts. Mountain Lakes clean sweeps it here in Mountain Lakes. Showed a couple of really great flashes of his forehand. Over to two. Shaughnessy serving. Ah, just too far. That would have been an yeah, absolutely incredible shot. Top of the net, but goes over. Nicely done by Barnett. Oh, what a job by Yash. Booker hits the net. Oh, excellent job by Yash. Changes directions on it. here on the Big State Sports Network, continuing on with the match. I'm not gonna lie, when they said that that was the match, thought that was the match. I guess it's not. <laughs> I'm very confused. So we continue here from the Powerville Tennis Courts.
first serve hits the net. too short. So Booker took the first set, Yash takes the second set, so we play on. Not sure why the coach said that that was it at first, but nonetheless we're back. the net. So currently three to two advantage for Yash. Winner of this takes the whole thing. So three all and now they will switch sides. Once again, thank you to all our sponsors that make these broadcasts possible here on the Big State Sports Network. We really appreciate all their support. Open Road Mazda of Morristown, Lakers Sports Club. Make sure you check out mlschools.org today. And ICS, of course, giving us our game time temperature. Or I guess I should say match time temperature. Excellent job by Yash, able to slam it home. Four to three advantage. Four three advantage for Yash. For all here. Yash hits the top of the net. So five to four now in favor of Booker. It's the net, five all. Booker can't quite get it over. Booker misses on the first. Six four. Or 6-5, excuse me. 
Josh needs this one to win. Just barely stays in. Too far. Six all now. Got to win by two. This is really coming down to the wire here at the Powerville Tennis Courts. Just skims over the top of the net. And a nice rally. Seven six advantage. So 7-6 in favor of Yash. Up in the air. Yash finishes it off. able to take that one. Josh looked good so far these past couple of serve attempts. It just goes out. Nine seven. Yeah, yeah. Nicely done by Yash. And that will do it. 
Mountain Lakes takes it. And Yash able to finish that one off. So that's going to do it for us here at Big State Sports. And overall, a really nice match from the Mountain Lakes players here today. For our stream producer, Joey Lancelotti, our camera operator, Grace Scanlon, I'm Christian Copen signing off here from the Powerville Tennis Courts in Mountain Lakes. He's shown a couple of really great flashes of his forehand. Over to two. Shaughnessy serving. too far that would have been an yeah, absolutely incredible shot it's the top of the net but goes over nicely done by Barnett Oh, what a job by Yash. Hooker hits the net. Oh, excellent job by Yash. Changes directions on it. the net, 30-15 advantage for Booker. All forehand shots so far, excellent one. Still in play and out. Excellent job by Samad again.